Wakey Wakey. If Wakey Wakey got to choose our honorary badass uncle, this guy would be top of the list. Robert Young Pelton, or RYP by his pen name. He's a journalist, filmmaker, and adventurer. He's been in more war zones than you and is a thoroughbred badass. These days, we're all used to seeing CNN correspondents reporting from the lobby of the Four Seasons. However, our guy is far from the safety of room service and right at the front lines of the war on terror with both US special ops soldiers and the terrorists they were fighting. And it's this ability to get access to the most dangerous people and places that make him remarkable. It was RYP when we got the first interview with John Walker Lind, more commonly known as the American Taliban, after he was captured by the Northern Alliance. Now clearly this line of work doesn't come without risks. He's been kidnapped by right-wing death squads in Colombia, survived both a plane crash in Indonesia and a head-on motorcycle accident in Peru. Thankfully for those of us looking to experience this adventure from a safer distance, he's got a sizable body of work. Start with watching a few episodes of his travel channel show, The World's Most Dangerous Places, which is also the name of his flagship book. Now in its fifth edition, it's somewhere between a how-to guide for surviving a war zone and a lonely planet for the truly insane. It's also worth checking out his biography, The Adventurist, and my personal favorite, a book, Free Worlds Gone Mad, which I won't spoil, but truly features some insane stuff. Now, get out there and be fearless. The demo scene's a competitive subculture for computer graphics programming. Groups of coders, musicians, and graphicians, that's a real word, work together to create demos, short for demonstrations, which are kind of like computer-generated music videos.